We're excited about this project at Skagit PUD because it allows us to recapture a lot of the energy that's already within our system and use that energy to offset operational costs. At the same time, it allows us to tap into a sustainable energy source for a lot of our energy needs. So at Skagit PUD, what we do is we capture water at a higher elevation at our reservoir called Judy Reservoir. And after treating it, we send it downhill through our transmission pipelines into the lower Skagit Valley where we serve our customers. As a result of going downhill, we create a lot of pressure within our system. And that pressure needs to be managed because high pressure can cause leaks within our system and it can cause our infrastructure to prematurely age. What we typically do is that we put in pressure reducing valves, but those pressure reducing valves burn energy and that energy is wasted. So a project like this will allow us to recapture some of that energy and be able to utilize it. The MPRV is a new first-of-a-kind product that gives water departments the ability to manage pressure just like what they're doing today, but instead of wasting pressure, it converts it into a new source of energy. And with the NPRV in place, water departments can reduce their operating costs due to energy. They can save water, reduce their carbon footprint, and extend the life of their infrastructure. It also gives them an opportunity to take that savings and reinvest it into their own infrastructure. Water is a very energy intensive industry, so whether that's on the treatment side or pumping side, and so energy plays a really big component in the operational costs of that. Unlike other renewable sources, it can be more steady, so with the high operating hours that water systems operate, you can get uh, more generation hours and you can even get generation hours uh, when wind or solar may not be working. So it's an opportunity to provide renewable energy at times when it may not be produced by other means. I also think this is great win for both Skagit PUD and PSE to help reduce carbon emissions and then helps us both meet our sustainability goals. There are really two things that we're excited about uh, as part of this project that the Skagit PUD is doing with um, in-pipe energy. It's really a great example of people in a local community taking funding, some of the funding that we were able to provide, making decisions that they believe will impact their communities most in a sustainable, renewable energy perspective. And what we also like about this is just the notion that we're using kind of leading edge technology, a, a creative application of ways of doing to really meld not just the delivery of water, but also use that and the processes associated with that to generate electricity, all with a view to helping power the communities in that jurisdiction and do that in a cost effective way. I think it's exciting, especially for a small city, that we can take an advantage of a small, scalable way to address climate change in this way. It's a public-private partnership where we can be a demonstration to show how it can be used in any type of city in America and have that payback to the community, saving money, but also helping our environment. I see a really important opportunity to use existing water infrastructure to combat climate change. I think the team at Skagit PUD sees that opportunity as well. The health of the environment means a lot to me. I've had a lot of discussions at school and at home about climate change. This project is showing us one more way to address these problems by generating renewable energy both cheaply and effectively, which is definitely a step in the right direction and I'm very thankful for you guys looking out for our future. We need to be visionary. We need to look to the future and use innovative technology which I consider this product from Inpipe Energy to have. Because as a water utility, we spend a lot of money on power to run our water system. And if we can generate some of our own power to offset those costs, it, the downstream effect is that it will save our ratepayers money.